we made a game where the only way you can move is by throwing a ball. How exactly did we come up with this idea? Well, last time while we were thinking for the next game we want to make, we stumbled upon a couple of videos where they're trying to make or play the quote-unquote hardest game and we've noticed one thing some of them have in common. They've got balls. What? And we thought we've got balls as well. So, why not make a game about balls that are hard to beat? Ah, yes. So, here's the basic premise of the game. You play as a cute little robot who's got this sci-fi futuristic cyber ball where the only way you can move is by throwing around this ball within the levels and after that, you can teleport towards the position of the ball. The challenge here comes when you have to precisely throw the ball to the right destination and overcome the obstacles to complete the level. And now, let's actually start developing the game. First, let's create the art for the character and the ball. We created this cute little robot in pixel art which has roughly the size of around 16 by 16 pixels. And together with the ball that has some red lights to it to add a bit of contrast from the robot which has the blue eyes and the thingy on its chest. For the ball physics, here in Godot, they have an object called Rigid Body 2D which basically does the work for us by already having the properties we need for a ball. And then we can just tweak the properties like friction, gravity, and its bound so it can move more as to how we like it. Now let's make a way for the ball to move. We can kind of take inspiration from the game Angry Birds where you have to drag backwards on the screen to throw the birds. But in this case, because we're feeling a bit rebellious, instead of dragging backwards, we're gonna make it drag forwards because that's how gangsta we are. She. If you drag anywhere across the screen, a line indicator will show up and adjust its length based on how much you've dragged. We can then calculate the length of this indicator as a multiplier for the strength of the throw and then apply a force that pushes the ball towards the direction of the line. After the ball is thrown, once you click or tap on the screen, the robot will teleport towards the position of the ball. Now let's make some game objects for the ball to interact with. First, let's make a way for the ball to travel really fast, like the speed of a bread. I'm feeling kind of hungry, so here's a spring roll. We can use this spring roll within the game and when the ball touches it, it'll launch the ball upwards or wherever it's facing. Now that I'm not hungry anymore, we can just remove the roll and make Make it a spring. Another thing the game needs is a way for the player to somehow fail. So we added some Asian parents for the player to become a disappointment. And also here's a spike for when the ball or player touches it, they just die. Next, we created a portal so when the ball goes through it, it'll teleport the ball to another connected portal. And now we get to the hardest part which is level design. Creating game mechanics is already hard enough, but level design is just a f***ing piece of shit. Anyway, here's the 6 levels we've created. For these to be made, we just quickly blocked out the levels to efficiently playtest and iterate on the design so it's actually challenging and not too easy or impossible to finish. After that, it just needs some polishing with the art so it's a bit more pleasant to look at. And lastly, we made this scrolling background for the menu screen and put the play button with it. Then we made a text for the title of the game, which we named Yo Mama So Round, She Rolled to Your Poppy's Ball. We named it Roll Rebound. If you like this video, I'm sure you'll also want to watch how we made our first 2.5D game ever. Click here to watch the video.